Good morning. So I'm on my way out to the shelter. Gonna finish it up today, hopefully. And, uh, yeah, get some work done. Then maybe we can come back and do an overnighter in it. Grizz is uh, happy as always. So am I. Just very happy to be out. I'm a little groggy this morning. <laughs> I, uh, I, I was up till, like, two in the morning last night. Um, so if I sound a little groggy, that'd be the reason. I've been on a really weird sleep schedule, and for some reason I'm just not tired till like 2 in the morning. And then I still wake up at like 7.30, so... So I've been, uh, that's a little bright. So I've been pretty groggy in the mornings, and... I always have this, like, this morning voice, so... Sorry about that, but uh, fresh air is gonna help me to wake up. Oh, it's gorgeous though. Let's go. Yeah. <laughs> Remember this spot in last week's video? It was all snow, and now it is not. I found some tracks here. Grizz is actually. Grizz is sniffing them out too because that's that's where they came from. So I'm just kind of trying to decipher what kind of tracks. In the last video I said I wasn't wasn't overly concerned about animals. But that being said, I am smart about it and I do have a respect for it. So I want to be vigilant at looking at my surroundings cuz if these in fact are I'm not I'm not too concerned about a moose. Um he might charge grizz if we encountered a moose, but I'd be more worried about a bear cuz they just woke up. Um you know, from hibernation. And, it, and if they have cubs, a little bit more dangerous. Now, today, actually, I did bring bear spray with me, so I should probably get that out now, because it's no good uh, hanging out in my bag. I'm definitely in an area where there are bears, so. Again, I'm not overly concerned, but I am alone out here. Better safe than sorry, right? to go. Well, after all that, I can say with confidence, it's not a bear. <laughs> okay, Grizz definitely just scared that moose, because I just heard it go crashing through the woods. 100%, that's what I just heard. Grizz! Well, the dog went running off. No idea where he is. I'm at the shelter, so I'm not hurt. There you are! Come here! <sighs> Not happy with you right now. It was like, well, I had fun doing it. Alright, well, anyways. <sighs> Sucks we didn't get to see it. Shelter's in good shape. <sighs> I'm not happy with you. I'm not happy with you.
All right, I'm gonna set my bag down here. I'm gonna go down to the uh, go down to the pond and check out the the ice melt situation. Maybe see something there. I don't know. It's a gorgeous day. So in case you couldn't tell, it is incredible out here. Chris thinks so too. Thank goodness I haven't found any ticks in this area because he'd be full of them right now. And beavers are amazing lumberjacks. Look at that work. Flawless. Time for a little water break. I get to hear a woodpecker over there. So uh, this video is going to be a bit different than my usual videos because uh, Ontario is under a fire ban right now. I guess they don't want to take they don't want to take emergency services away from obviously what's going on. It is what it is and we all have to abide by the rules. Um, so I brought <clears throat> I brought a cold a cold lunch. It's pretty healthy, it's nothing that I have to cook. Alright Grizz, back to work. Here's the mountain dog. There's the next piece. Oh, she's a heavy one.
as you can see, we're getting her done today. Got lots of materials to work with now. Okay, so now it's going to be about filling this in and this part. This is going to be a challenge to try to cover up. I think someone likes a new shelter. Nice and shady in there? Yeah. Yeah, nice and shady. He finds the word friend so interesting. Hey, my little friend. Yes, you're my little friend. <laughs> you're so funny. Well, I'm glad I could provide a nice shady spot for you. <laughs> you got bugs in your bum? <laughs> So I think just to stay ahead of my hunger and not crash, I'm going to have a little snack. Have a banana. <laughs> that's for, that's for later. That one's cold. Come here, come here, Tom. No ticks. Lay down, lay down. You don't even like banana. Okay. Do you eat it or do you just throw it? Yeah, you just throw it. Heavy and pokey. And pokey. Alright. Change plans. Chop this right about there, and then work with the uh, work with the top half of this. Oh, it's very green. Watch that torque. Put you in the face. Oh, this is so gummy. So, measured it out to about, 
the one and a half saws. Go with that. See, this is where this saw really shines. Because you can put two hands on it, brace it, and, and it just cuts like butter. Well, that didn't do as much as I wanted it to. Nice little sitting platform. Keep off of the, the damp ground. And time to show you guys. Oh, I just dropped that I needed. Okay. So I have an apple. Is that too bright? That looks too bright. Okay. It's a little better, hopefully. Okay, so. I have my bag of goodies. This is just uh, a, clot, a, clot, a cotton bag. So, first on the list, you guessed it. It's an avocado. Second up, a little tin in this tin is some chickpeas and, uh, and goat cheese. I know, this is gonna get wild. Hold your horses, there's more. So, uh, as a lot of you might know, if you've been watching my videos for some time, um, oh, my, stomach, my stomach is growling. I, uh, I try very hard to not use plastic, um, so that includes uh, Ziploc bags and stuff like that. It's just it's a personal choice that I made, and I enjoy trying to live the way we did not that long ago when plastic didn't exist. So yeah, in lieu of that, I got this awesome little travel takeout container that is not staying put. Alright, it's going there. Okay, so in there, I have a block of cheese in a homemade beeswax wrap. I have a cucumber. Cilantro, I'll show you up close. This is my box of goodies today. Oh, we lost some cilantro. Okay, cilantro. This is just uh, oil and, this is oil and balsamic vinegar. I got, it's basically a salad. I mean, and I'll chop it up a little further. We got some little tomatoes, uh, mushrooms, and a carrot that I plan on eating separately. And then I got spinach. Everything's on like a bed of spinach, so. Just because I know there's those people out there that just can't get over the fact that I don't feed my dog throughout the day. Um, he's on a very healthy eating schedule for a dog. Dogs don't eat like we do. Don't feed your dog like we eat. It's not good for them. They're not meant to eat every hour <laughs> or every two hours the way humans are. Grizz is very happy, healthy, and is, he wouldn't look 
he wouldn't look this good and he wouldn't be so energetic if I didn't have him on a good feeding program so all the people that feed your dogs out there all throughout the day that's your choice I'm not judging you but that's not how I do things with all the professional research I've done dogs are not supposed to eat like that so again no judgment you do you but uh, you know I'm gonna do me too so lunchtime oh. I know a lot of people hate cilantro personally I love it I've heard it's either a love it or hate it type of thing um, it's very good for you very detoxifying freshens breath freshens your body odor even Oh, avocado. Can't forget the avocado. Oh, and the chickpeas and goat cheese. Those are important. Oh my goodness, it's perfect. It's so perfect. Also curious to know who you guys have been watching lately. I, uh, I've just recently I, I'd always heard of this channel, um, but just never got a chance to fully check it out. Um, but I'm recently hooked on Elsa Ray's channel. Loving what they, what her and uh, Baron are doing. Grizz is out cold. He's not even begging. Cold. Um, yeah, so the goat cheese and the and the chickpeas are pretty much for protein. All right. I'm gonna eat this. Probably crack my beer. I'll do that for you right now. I feel like the beer is a crucial part in every video. Beer and salad, it's not as great as beer and steak, but a little bit healthier. I'm going to enjoy this. I'll get back with you guys after lunch. Give me a hug. Give me a hug. Oh, good boy. Good hug. Good hug. I don't care if you're stinky or cute. You love me. Okay. Time to get back to work. I need a new axe mask. I find it really strange the way this broke off. Anyways, we're gonna harvest this bad boy. I'm hair up now. That was that was a lot of cutting. So these ones are super dense. And then uh, some of these are just really heavy from being waterlogged. Well, that one is. And then the rest were easy. But whew.
are the most dense by far. Workout log. Woo! Since we can't go to a gym these days. Hello. <laughs> Did you find a nice place to lay down? Hey. Hey, sleepy doggy. Let's go. Back to camp. Boy. Well, it's desperate times. <sighs> it's finally tank top weather. <laughs> It's so warm out here. like this. Perfect. And the rib work done up here so that it can hold all the all the leaves when I throw them on. Oh, and we have a spectator. Hello. And then we're gonna take all this stuff and throw it off. Time for gloves, and we're going to throw some leaves on here, because I am running out of time. I'm your stinky duck. You're stinky. And when you're stinky, I'm stinky. Hey, you stinky 
Piggy. Are you Piggy boy? Also, for those who always, who always ask, uh, these are the Fall Raven Keb trousers. Fall, Fall Raven Keb trousers. Um, there's these. This material is stretchy, like super stretchy. And this material is the G1000. It's really tough. You can treat it with uh, treat it with wax, and then it becomes a little bit more resistant to water and dirt. Yeah, I, I absolutely love these pants. They're awesome. And they're getting dirty today. I do not want to know how many spiders I've touched today. Probably a lot. Yep, don't eat sticks. <laughs> A goofball. Still choking over there? Can you see who's, uh, who's made a bed on top of my shelter? <laughs> Oh, this is such a nice day. Well, I think that's it for me t for today. Um, I'm very happy with my progress. I, I would say it's pretty much done. Um, if I were to stay the night, I would keep working on it and just kind of finish it up, put, put a few, like, basically throw an extra layer around the whole thing. Stay tuned, I have a giveaway coming up. It won't I shouldn't even be mentioning it because it won't be for a while, but uh, but it'll be exciting for when it when that does happen. Thank you guys very much for watching. I really appreciate all the kind comments and support. Uh, please give it a like if you enjoyed this. Um, that really really supports my channel. And please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that. Um, I hope you guys are happy with the shelter because I sure am. And I hope that you enjoyed this video. I hope this was a good distraction from what's happening right now, and I hope you guys are all safe and, and healthy and doing well. I will keep you with me on the walkout, as I always do, because it's going to be a gorgeous hike out. Um, but yeah, I'm going to clean up all my stuff and get going. Look at the way he's sitting right now. <laughs> Why are you sitting like that? You're so weird. <laughs> You're so weird. So I'm all packed up, I got all my stuff, I've double checked around, haven't forgotten anything. And we're ready to hike out. Pretty sweet shelter. That's sunlight, that's not, it's not like open air at the back, that's sunlight. Everything's pretty well covered. There's the side, the back, and the roof. That's a weird angle from here. Makes it look like there's not a rock there.
Oh, I'm dying to go on a canoe trip. Ah, oh, this is my favorite part of this walkout. This little valley. It's so beautiful and the sun kind of hits everything. I liked it better when there was snow, to be honest, but this is still nice. I got good boots on. Hikes. Vortex. So I've trained Grizz since he was little, but when I firmly say walk and point down to my side, he walks right beside me. Ah, ah, walk. And when I stop, he stops. Good. And then I'll release him. Okay, okay. Tell him to come. Good boy. Good, come. Now walk. Good boy. Come here. Where are you? Good boy. That's my boy. Uh uh. Walk. Good. Okay, get the squirrels. Get the squirrels. Thanks for sticking with us. I hope you enjoyed this. As usual, see you on the next one.